policies. I have three support records and two micrologics. And as we look at the micrologics 1400, I had to connect the channel zero to an MCO1 cable. And that cable goes right on to the Data Highway 45. So I have that port so the Data Highway 45, address number 14. Now here on the micrologics 1000, I have it connecting many to the many data that's providing power to this AIC plus. And this unit is set up as address 10. Now, I have my 505, which doesn't have a data highway 45 port. I have it coming through the serial port to another AIC mini dead. Now, I can't provide power there, so I have external power to my AIC. I'm using a uh, PMO2, or this is an equivalent that you can get much cheaper um, of the PMO2. Um, from there, I also have the off screen, I have a 503 and a 500 which are connected using uh, legacy AICs, the old 1747 AICs, and they're also on the Data Highway 45 network. Now, I also have the two panel views here. I have the panel view 1000 and the panel view 400, and both serial ports are connected via a standard straight-through serial cable. That's 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 5 to 5. So these are nine-pin cables, both going to the AICs. So an important thing to keep in mind, PLCs, their serial ports are DTEs, meaning that they go from the PLC to the AIC Plus or from the PLC to your laptop using serial. You're going to want a crossover cable or what we typically call a no modem cable. Um, in previous videos, I've shown how to uh, use a standard straight through cable with a no modem adapter, or you can just buy a, uh, a no modem cable very inexpensively. Um, you can also buy the Rockwell equivalents, but uh, you can find an expensive version. So I'll put some links on the screen to those. Um, so whether it's the 1400 here, if it was going to a computer serially, or the 505, whatever PLC you have from Rockwell Automation, you're going to need that no modem cable to make a serial connection. And I should point out the PMO2, even though it goes 9 pin to mini did, is also what we call a no modem cable. That that, that in mind, uh, panel views are DCE devices. And so the panel views use straight through cables. Okay, that rock on is several 2711 cables that you can use, or you can just use off the shelf straight through cables. But for serial communications to the panel view, to either your computer or to the PLC, you'll want a straight through cable. And so that's what we have here. We have straight through cables, not no modem cables, but with each of the IC pluses that that same cable will work to the serial port of the uh, 1400 or the serial port of the 505. But in this case, we're going to put a whole network together. So we're going through ASC pluses to get everybody on the same network. Now, I should mention about Data Highway 45. Yeah, some people would jokingly call it data um, in a sidewalk, but Data Highway. <laughs> so um, that's because it's not really fast. I mean, 19.2K is as fast as it goes. And, uh, you can see here on the uh, panel view, the screen doesn't update that fast, maybe once a second, maybe once every couple of seconds. So, um, you know, it's just not fast. It's just, it's a slower network. It's easy to use. It's two twisted pairs. I can go up to uh, 4,000 feet, if I remember correctly. And it uses a Belden uh, 9842. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a very good, inexpensive network, easy to use. 